on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here. Consumer Quarterback Show. We're powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Livian Coastal Elite. And a quick shout out to our friends at Lawn Anglers. Uh, shout out to Adam Long and his team over at Lawn Anglers. They do a great job. If you're looking to uh, bring on a new lawn and landscaping company, lawn maintenance, landscaping, mulching, tree trimming, yard cleanouts, and more, uh, we highly recommend Lawn Anglers. Adam Long does a great job. And uh, reach out to the show. We'll put you in touch with him. Uh, Adam Long, Lawn Anglers, longtime friends of the show here. All right, a couple of hot listings here. 5930 River Road in Newport Ritchie. We have a property on the river. This is a beautiful home. River Road is four bedrooms, three and a half bath, two spot carport, one car garage that's detached as well. 1964 square foot heated. You have over a half an acre lot that has 80 feet of frontage on the Cody River. Uh, kitchen has beautiful oak breakfast bar, greenhouse windows, ample cabinets, walk-in pantry, elegant tile backsplash, formal dining room with a chandelier, stained glass. Uh, this is a beautiful home. Kind of has that old Florida feel to it. Just a gorgeous property on the river. And if you live in Florida and you live on a lake or waterfront like I do, this is the ultimate of that Florida lifestyle. Metal roof, stone construction, cypress wood shingles, uh, extensive support system with crawl space, uh, Florida room. I mean, this property has it all. 5930 River Road, Newport Ritchie. Great opportunity to own a riverfront, waterfront property right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. All right, we're going to switch gears. We talk about a commercial property here at 2907 North Florida Avenue. We've got a $2.89 million listing here. Now, this is a great opportunity for business owners, entrepreneurs, a store owner. You might want to relocate your furniture store, a theater store, 7273 heated square foot. You have 12,000 square feet total at 2907 North Florida Avenue, uh, just under $3 million listing of ours. Uh, beautiful property here. Two bed, two, uh, I'm sorry, you got two buildings uh, that cater to both the immediate rental income and limitless business potential. Uh, you have a smaller building that's currently leased out, $6,500 a month coming in, and the larger building equipped with all of the essentials, upgrade your support. <clears throat> Uh, support your business's growth. Uh, electrical systems, plumbing, stucco, all completed in 2021. Fresh coat of paint as well. Ample parking spaces, 29 dedicated spots. 2907 North Florida Avenue in Tampa. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Check out PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Try that in a small town. See how far you make it down. Anderson back in studio. Welcome back, sir. How you doing? Excellent. I'm glad to be back. Thank you. Yeah, Happy man. New Year to you. Happy New Year. Yeah. Blessed and highly favored. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump right into it. So mental health crisis is what something that you have uh, dedicated your life to helping solve. And uh, where do you want to start? Well, obviously, we're in a mental health crisis in, in the United States. Um, and it's out of control. Obviously, you watch the news, you read a uh, newspaper, uh, it's on social media, you see what appears to be our society crumbling. Yeah. So um, I want to address that. I want to address it in a way rather than just bringing forth the obvious about what's wrong and, and why it's wrong, but uh, solutions. So I have absolute solutions, government policy that we can put in place that can reverse the crumpling of our society right now. So I'm right very on. interested in trying to get this information out there uh, to deal with it. We have to take a stand. Um, you know, we have to draw a line and we have to fight against this evil that has infected our country. Right. And in order to, to, to draw the line and take that stand, we have to have a, a, a place to do it. And that place, to me, is is um, what I call the conservative nuclear family. Right. Uh, a lot of professionals will know what that means, psychological, um, that term. Uh, but a conservative nuclear family is a traditional family, a mm. traditional family in the sense there's a it's not a fatherless home. It's not a single family home that's right. governed by or funded by the government. Right, um, exactly. So this is crucial. Why is it crucial? Because that's the cure. It's literally the cure. Mm -hmm. um, when there is a functional family, nuclear family, the, the children have a, a, just an overwhelming chance at being very well adjusted and stable. They're gonna flourish. Absolutely, without question. Um, 
if you don't and you have a fatherless home, single family home, government funded, um, the chances of having horrible consequences, as as you, we discussed last time, uh, incarceration, dropouts, um, yeah. drug addiction, mental health issues, uh, developmental uh, delays, um, is tenfold, yeah. and and that's in all the literature. So that's not even right. disputable. Um, but the conservative nuclear family is the foundation for wellness. It's the it's, it's our stability, and if we focus on that and we draw the line there. And we do things to to uh, preserve the nuclear family and to build it and make it stronger. That's going to take out all of the dysfunction. Right. Everything in society that we're going through right now, the out-of-control crime, the poor health, obesity, especially childhood obesity, mental health, substance abuse, just 120,000 deaths this year just from fentanyl. Wow. Just from fentanyl. That's not the opiates and alcohol um, deaths related to accident or accidental death and suicide, which is skyrocketed. It's, right. it's epidemic. It's, it really it's out has. of control. Uh, h- homelessness. You know, I can use just California alone. Have 172,000 people that are homeless. Wow. And and these people that are are saying that we just need more money to put into it, mm-hmm. they're wrong. You know, Kamala Harris and Gavin Newsom and all those guys mm-hmm. spent four years. And 7.3, they gave Gavin Newsom $7.3 billion to figure out what the core issue is yeah. and, and to fix this problem. And literally, that's for one year. Yeah. That comes out to $42,000 per person Wow. for these 172,000 homeless people. And not one thing was done. Right. Not what, it's actually growing. Yeah. And, and this is every year. It's so, crazy. so we have, I have solutions to those problems. Yeah. And again, it has, we have to take a stand and we have to fight. For, for the well-being of our society, and we start with the family. I love it, An man. intact family. That's We're talking with be Dr. Scott Anderson here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Dr. Scott Anderson, sharethelovecharities.org, sharethelovecharities.org. Uh, we also have a, a golf tournament I wanted to get in there as well. Coming up, plug that golf tournament, uh, Dr. Scott. It's Friday the 19th, Plantation Palms. Yes, yeah. And you go to sharethelovecharities.org. We have all the information there. We have uh, awesome sponsors. They're all up on the website there. And when we talk about it in a little bit, I'll throw a shout out to those guys. Nice. Okay. So we got that plug in. Now, Dr. Scott Anderson, you're uh, the, so the mental health, you know, is definitely you know forefront right now. I mean, a lot of people are Absolutely. seeing it. Um, I think as we're actually you know uh, on air right now there was a shooting that i saw pop up at another one of the so now you're gonna have all the politicians running around saying oh we got to take the guns we got to exactly. take the ars basically you know the assault rifle no it's arm a light rifle you know so they're wrong exactly. on all these different things uh but they, they're so wrong on mental it's, health it's too, political aren't they? hyperbole i mean it is yeah. what it is they're trying to get money they're trying to get support they're trying to get votes they're trying to maintain control they, yeah. they have no they don't care at all about the well-being of children, yep. of safety of children. Um, guns have nothing to do with death. People who are mentally ill that wield those guns, exactly. that's the problem. Yep. And if you never have somebody that's mentally unstable and out of control yielding a, wielding a gun, there won't be deaths. There right. won't be accidental deaths. Right. So it's, it has nothing to do with an inanimate object. It has to do with the person who picks it up yep. with the intention of killing. And if you take away guns, they'll use knives. You take away knives, they'll use rocks. Yep. You take away rocks, they'll use their hands. Yep. So it's an idiotic um, argument. argument. Yep. And the fact that we have so many, it's against the law to kill. Right. So that should take care of the problem right there. Exactly. So we don't need more laws. We already have them. We need to enforce the ones that are in place right. rather than these people, um, again, uh, not not implementing and not enforcing the law. Yeah, no, absolutely. For political man. gains. Yeah, political gain. And you look at uh, the number one state, as you mentioned, California, 172,000 homeless. Yeah. You know, they can clean it up for the weekend that they've yeah. got president, their, their, their uh, God. In yeah, a see sense how fast that cheap. worked? Yeah. yeah, they cleaned it up yeah. pretty quick that weekend. Yeah. It's a, it's a joke because there, there is a solution to it. They know what the solution is. Yeah. We've, conservatives or, or, or people... Uh, professionals have been telling, you know, what the, what the answers are for a long time. But again, I hate to keep going back to politics, but we're, I guess, unfortunately stuck in a very corrupt world it's life. right now. Politics and it's is life. life now, yep. unfortunately, because I never used to have to talk about it, but it's just, it's all around now. But um, we have the solutions, I, and, I, and I'm going to go over the solutions very specifically, but we have to make a stand. 
and I'm telling people we need that the cure is the beginning is to have funding. We need funding for the things that we have to put in place, not not funding to uh, pay for tents and to legalize drugs and to do that. That's a failed experiment. We've proven that legalization of drugs and is, is a miserable failure and it's killing millions of people, literally. Right. Um, the, not prosecuting um, people for crimes, especially drug related oh, crimes. That's such that a one. is a, just a disaster. Yeah. And, and again, homelessness, where does homeless co- come from? Uh, again, when you're addicted to drugs and you're unemployable, and you're mentally uh, unstable, you're not employable. Right, you're a drain so on the economy. You're a you're... drain on the economy. Like I said, out of control health, um, uh, crime, poor health, obesity, mental health, substance abuse, homelessness, economic collapse, that's all related. And it stems from the breakdown of the nuclear family, fatherless homes. When you raise people that aren't mentally stable, they're not physically healthy, and they're not capable of work and productivity and happiness, you're, of course society is going to collapse. Right. So we have to focus on the family and, and building what the children need to be fully developed and to be stable and healthy. And, and I, when you I do that, the rest to, takes care of itself. Right. I, I want to I go back to just the beginning, too. And, you know, God, biblical. Absolutely. You know, this is intelligent design. It, the, the Lord and Savior, you know, he designed us this way. It, it's equal. It's man, female, man, woman, me, male, female. You have the nurturing compassion sure. of a female. You have the father that's the protector and that, hey, if, if all hell breaks loose, he's going to be the one to kick some ass. There's fundamental characteristics for men and women. Exactly. And they both are necessary um, to be indoctrinated into the children's development exactly. in order for him to be mentally stable, to be to, to grow and develop properly. Right. So absolutely, morality and and comes also not just from parents teaching, but from church, yeah. from ideals, from community. Um, so all of those are essential. We have to have a community and we have to start yeah. with the family because the rest will build off of that. Yeah. Wisdom. You know, that's the biblical wisdom sure. that's passed down, you know, generation amongst generation. And that's that's the uh, intelligent design of our creator. You know, not only the, the, the way that the plants give off oxygen and the way that our world works, but just as, as you mentioned so eloquently, the family unit. And that's Absolutely. what we've got to get back to and protect. Uh, we're talking with Dr. Scott Anderson here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Share the love charities.org. Sign up for the golf tournament coming up in just a week or two. It's right around the corner, folks. Yeah, the ninth is Friday the, the final 19th. sign up date. So we have to have everybody registered or ninth. signed up by the ninth. Okay, that's Especially just a few days, a couple days from now. Yep. Friday the 19th is the, the actual tournament, Plantation Palms, go to the website, share the love charities.org, and we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back more uh, with Dr. Scott Anderson here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Hey, follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes One at CQB Show. We're on Rumble, we're on YouTube. If you're listening to the show right now in your vehicle, when you get to a red light, stop, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty Consumer Quarterback Show. ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. To get in touch with Brandon, call 727-263-3707. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Patriot Mobile is America's only Christian conservative wireless provider who shares your values. They offer the very best nationwide coverage on 4G and 5G LTE networks and exceptional 100% U.S.-based customer support. Patriot Mobile offers discounts for veterans and first responders, NRA members, and families with multiple lines. Learn more at PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer QB. That's PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer qb or if you'd like to give us a call you can reach out at 727-263-3707 that's 727-263-3707 and we'd be happy to tell you more about patriot mobile Selling commercial, vacant land, or residential properties? Don't leave money on the table. List with the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm Brandon Rhymes. You can reach me at 727-263-3707. Call or text 727-263-3707 online at ConsumerQB.com.
You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio with Dr. Scott Anderson. Share the love charities.org. And a uh, quick shout out to our friends at Replenish IV Solutions. I just left their Gandhi location. I got a vitamin infusion drip, all the good stuff, vitamin C's, B's into my bloodstream. And they have uh, something like the Myers cocktail, different types of cocktails you can choose from. ReplenishIVSolutions.com. They can come to your home or office, and they've got multiple Bay Area locations. ReplenishIVSolutions.com. Boost your immunity. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, we got a hot listing here at 7532 Yachtsman Drive in Hudson, Florida. Another waterfront property. We've got a lot of beautiful waterfront homes uh, under our listing management right now. This one's two bedrooms, two baths, 1632 square feet on a canal that feeds out to the Gulf of Mexico. You have a brand new kitchen, granite countertops, top of the line, stainless steel appliances, lots of beautiful cabinet space as well. His and her closets, double vanities, separate tub and shower, uh, brand new storm windows, hot tub, $8,000 glass double door entry, solar panel system and more at 7532 Yachtsman Drive in Hudson and you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com Alright, Dr. Scott Anderson in the house with us here. Uh, before we jump back into it, i got to let you know about our feel-good story of the day. Uh, so we have a military dog that served our nation. Uh, it's reunited with its former Air Force handler. Uh, U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Mike Alcala uh, and his former military working dog, John, has been separated for two years. The 10-year-old German Shepherd prepares for retirement. Uh, the American Humane surprised the dog and his handler with a reunion. Uh, during the three years that Alcala uh, was John's handler, uh, the two formed a strong bond they were separate separated on september 2011 uh, 2021, rather, uh, when Alcala uh, was reassigned to another base. Uh, when Alcala heard that John was retiring, he reached out to the nonprofit organization American Humane for helping in transportation, uh, help in transporting his best friend home for adoption. Uh, the American Humane handles the process of international and national transport to enable retired canine veterans to be adopted by their former handlers. And here's a quote: He says they were gracious to gracious enough to help go pick him up in Hawaii, transport him back to me without having me pay anything. It's been a blessing for us. So there you have it, our feel-good story of the day. And, of course, that's a uh, good segue into, you know, dogs can also be a good health for uh, mental health as well. Absolutely. Support uh, animals, legitimate support animals. I right. know everybody's got a support animal nowadays. But, yeah, um, but yeah there's it's great things. Uh, there's lots that you can do for your mental wellness. Um, we were talking about, well, what's, we're, we're in a mental health crisis and what do we do about it? You know, we hear about all the doom and gloom that we've been talking about and, um, how everything's out of control. So what do we do about it? Basically, I've, I've outlined, uh, several things that I've been trying to push for quite some time. I've developed the curriculum and the, uh, the treatment, um, milieu that we, we utilize in, in our clinic, addiction recovery care of Tampa. Um, but basically we need funding. Um, okay. We need government funding and support. Uh, we not only need that support, we need the support of, of individuals, we need the support of communities, and we need the support of the state. Um, people need to get behind a push for wellness um, instead of just ignoring it or pretending it's not there. So the first thing is, again, making it known, bringing it out there so we can get the proper funding for it. Um, if we can fund $7.3 billion to Gavin Newsom to do nothing, <laughs> we could, for a fraction of the cost, help and, and save a lot of money. The first thing is we got to bring back the mental health facilities. Um, those went away uh, probably in the 50s, and again, they made another push to get rid of those in the uh, early 90s. But the mental health facilities where we can treat and house people especially the homeless, because mm -hmm. the vast majority, in fact, overwhelming right. vast majority, have substance abuse and mental health issues that brought them to homelessness. Yep. So we have to treat that at its core. So instead of them giving $7.3 billion to Kamala Harris to find out the root cause, they can call me up, give me a couple million dollars, and I'll just give them the answer right now. The root cause is the breakdown of the nuclear family. Yep. 
Um, so if we uh, get these facilities up and running, not only can we employ professionals, um, but we can treat the mental illness. We can put them on medication management. And I'd say at least a quarter to half of those people can get back out into society and be productive if they're not chronic. Right. So that would be in, at a fraction of the cost. Right. You're paying $42,000 per person wow. to keep a person in a tent and keep them with drugs. You can get that person back and productive and, and off of the system, which would be at a fraction of a cost and save billions of dollars. Remember, the annual cost for mental health issues in, in America, $700 billion. Wow. So we could take that away by implementing those things. The other thing that we need, we have to require insurance companies yeah. to pay for the treatment portion of substance abuse and mental health. Right. It has absolutely been uh, an outrage that they don't cover those areas of treatment, which are crucial in the development and, and sure. well-being of people. Um, so we need them accountable and then uh, provide government assistance for the nuclear families instead of incentivizing welfare for people to be in fatherless homes and to supplement that dysfunction and that destruction of the children how about we supplement the families that are, are struggling a little bit that are two family homes right mother and father how about helping to assist with rent or transportation or daycare or, or those types of things, groceries. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that would keep them off the system and it would help the children develop and incentivize two family homes. Yeah, I mean, if you look at all the money that was spent over the last, let's call it the COVID years, the yeah. China virus years, yeah. think about all those dollars. Wouldn't you love Wasted. to see some accounting on where that exactly. money went? Or do it or use it for something that's actually going to have an outcome yeah. that's going to help the people rather than continue to harm yeah. them. Record um, dollars spent. And it's like, where did it go? No, nowhere. And it's, they're asking it's for more. Yep. You know, they're fighting for more. And that's part of the corrupt system. That's why exactly. this, it makes accountability. But we need to incentivize two, two fa you know, mother and father and nuclear family homes. Exactly. Um, and then we need to, found, uh, to fund community support um, programs. This, I think, is huge. We used to have these way back in the day. I'm not going to date myself, but um, places where kids can go yep. and parents where they can do sports, arts and crafts uh, with, with paraprofessionals there that are overseeing and mentoring them um, so that they can be active. They can mm -hmm. learn life skills. Yep. Um, they can learn healthy eating and nutrition and exercise. Um, that would go a long way to have those in the system sure. where parents can bring the kids there or the ki uh, the parents also could get assistance there by doing continuing education on parenting, yeah. on, on relationships, on health and nutrition, how to raise the kids properly. Mentorships and stuff Absolutely. would be perfect for that. And, and it's not that expensive to have community resources like that. The YMCA used to do that. Yep. And finally, we need to, to fund and implement life skills curriculum in the schools. Mm. Uh, something I've developed for a long time but we need to have that implemented from grade school through high school. And that would save an awful lot of problems with uh, giving them the right curriculum. Yeah, no, as absolutely. As they develop. Those are all great points. I love it. So you're going to have, uh, you know, the government money going to where it should be, not not wasting the money, mm -hmm. uh, community involvement, having those those elders in the community coming in, mentoring some of the youth. And, Teaching life skills and yeah. development skills and helping the parents learn how to parent properly. Right. That's a big part of it, yeah. you know, community involvement, church involvement, getting Absolutely. back to the biblical principles, uh, that intelligent design of our creator, that nuclear family. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Scott Anderson to here. the fundamentals that, well, that kept us right for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds exactly. of years. Exactly. Exactly. All of a sudden, these 2024 it needs to change. What I mean, what's going on? The liberal Share indoctrination. The That's right. ShareTheLoveCharities.org. Check them out. Say hello to Dr. Scott Anderson. ShareTheLoveCharities.org. Also on ConsumerQB.com, you can see all of Dr. Scott Anderson's information on our website. Doc, thanks again. Thank you. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Hey, another great show. We want you to please go out there, consider committing a random act of kindness, and we'll see you next time. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes.